Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to talk all about the pieces that I would purchase first if I was starting my capsule wardrobe from scratch. Now the whole reason I even thought about filming this video was because my sister wants to start her capsule wardrobe and she asked me the other day if I can give her a list of items to kind of start with. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to film this because it might be helpful to some of you who have wanted to start a capsule wardrobe for a while but you're just not sure which pieces to purchase first. Now, you are going to see a lot of basics in this video but that is because for me personally a capsule wardrobe is a core set of quality pieces that I can then build on so that way if I want to add any trend pieces or I wanted to add anything with a little bit more pattern or a bit more color I can add it to my already core pieces so a capsule wardrobe really is open to interpretation and all it really is about is your own personal style and selecting pieces that you will be able to wear over and over again again and have in your wardrobe for a really long time. Now before I get into this video I wanted to mention the jewellery that I'll be wearing because jewellery is part of my capsule wardrobe especially as someone who lives near the beach I don't like to take my jewellery on and off again I don't like to take it off in the water so I generally do stick to solid gold pieces. I do have some dress pieces in my collection however the pieces that I wear every single day I get most compliments on and I seem to just leave on are of course solid gold. The first are a set of hoops. Now these come in a small, a medium and a large all within the one set and I thought that these would be great because they're solid gold. I can pop them in. I have two holes on each of my ears and I can kind of play around the, with the sizing depending on whether or not I want to go for a more casual look or if I want to dress up a little more. So today I have the larger hoops in with the medium size hoops and I feel like because they are so dainty they kind of um, move around as you move which is really really nice they're so comfortable so lightweight you honestly don't even know that they're on and then there is a set of smaller hoops which I have here and they are definitely more on the casual side and ones that I would wear um, in my seconds if I didn't want to dress up as much, if you know what I mean. Now, the other piece that I wanted to show you is this beautiful diamond ring. So this is a very dainty ring. Like I said, you can pop it on and just leave it. I don't even feel like it's on my finger. Um, and it's got the most beautiful little lab-grown diamond in a bezel setting. Now, this is such a dainty piece, but it is my most complimented piece of jewelry to date. I don't know what it is. I think it is because it is so dainty. When it catches someone's eye, they just feel like they have to say something. So I thought they were amazing. And of course, they are made from all recycled gold, which is just such a bonus. And Linya does so much when it comes to their sustainability. All of their emissions are offset. All the packaging is completely recyclable and sustainable, so I just absolutely love everything that they're about. And of course, I do have a discount code for you all. It is SHANNON45. Use that at the checkout and you will receive the second item 45% off, which is such an amazing deal. They're having their summer sale right now, so make sure you go ahead, take a look, and add some really beautiful pieces to your collection. So with all of that being said, let's just get straight into the 20 items that I would purchase first if I had to start my capsule wardrobe all over over again. Now the 20 pieces that I am going to be showing you today I wear year round and that is because I do live in Queensland in Australia so our temperatures don't vary very much. So this will all be according to your climate if you have live somewhere where the seasons really do change you might have to add a few more pieces but these are just the ones that I wear according to my climate. So the first piece I wanted to show you is a tank top and this is more of a vest kind of top. It's more of a higher neck and it's a beautiful ribbed material and I find this is so versatile you can dress it up you can dress it down I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot in this video dress it up dress it down but it's true it is such a great staple and I feel like I have worn this so much and if it was to leave my wardrobe I really would be stumped quite often um, because it just goes with so much now I also have this in a white so a lot of these pieces I'll show you one but I do have them in multiple colors but if I was just starting out I would purchase this in a black and a white or depending on your um, color palette that you like to go for you could go for a beige and a white um, it really just depends so I absolutely love a vest top the next piece I want to show you is of course a basic tee now I have finally found the perfect 
basic tee for me. It sits perfectly on my shoulders, it's boxy but not too oversized, and it is the Cos Clean Cut Tee. So I have th this in navy, white, and black. So this one here is the navy one, and I just wear these all the time. If in doubt, grab a t-shirt, grab some jeans or some shorts, and you're good to go. And because I do like to accessorize with jewelry and handbags, I find that wearing basic pieces pretty much day to day is fine, um, as long as I kind of style them up with accessories. So I absolutely love this t-shirt. I'll definitely link it below. Um, and like I said, I have three of these, black, white, and navy. Now the next two items are long sleeve shirts. So, or tops, whatever you call them. This one here is a white one from Perfect Stranger. It, I'm not going to harp on too much about the brands that I've purchased from because at the end of the day, these are all um, basics and you can purchase them from any brand depending on your budget. If you want to go um, really high end and really beautiful quality, then you can do that. But this one here from Perfect Stranger, I think was $50 and it does the job. So basically it's just a tight long sleeve, high neck. This is so good for layering. I use it under all of my blazers under jumpers, under vests, and it just I just find I wear it so much, especially throughout the transitional period. And then the next one, sorry if the lighting keeps changing guys, there are a few clouds outside, so honestly I feel like every take is just different lighting. But anyway, this one here is just a black one, it looks really weird on the hanger, let me take it off. Um, it is just from Dish, and it is this beautiful thick kind of rib material, definitely thicker than this one here um, and probably a little better quality and will probably last me a bit longer, but it has quite a wide scoop, um, which is actually really nice and can be dressed up really easily with like a necklace and stuff. So it's definitely more on the dressier side. What I love about this is it has really long arms. So that way, you know, when you've got like nice nail polish on, nice jewelry and you kind of have it coming down to here. I don't know. I just really like that look. So again, I layer with this. So I absolutely love both of those and could not live without them. Now moving on to pants. You'll probably notice that these are all jeans, but I love jeans. I am a jeans where you either love jeans or you hate them. Um, for me, they're very comfortable. They make me feel comfortable, but take this recommendation with a grain of salt. If you are someone that prefers linen pants or trousers, then maybe just look at the kind of coloring that I'm going for and replace them with what you would wear. The first First pair is just a very basic pair of mum jeans from Zara. Absolutely love these. I've had these for like over five years now and they're just the perfect blue wash jean for me. Um, and yeah, I just really love them. They're a straight leg at the bottom um, and they don't have a hem. I do kind of wish they had a hem, but that's okay. I'm not going to go out and buy another pair just because of that. The next pair are from Weekday and these are like an off-white creamy pair. And I just love these so much. They're actually, I went to iron them the other day. They're very worn. There are a couple of holes from when Remy was a puppy and she kind of ripped my jeans um, that I've sewn up. So these will be retiring very soon because because I have ordered a new pair, not this exact brand, but I was on the hunt for a cream pair of jeans again, and I've just gone for the very simple straight leg high-waisted cut. Um, so when they arrive, I will probably be sending these to Vinnie's because guys, they're all kind of stretched around the bum and the thighs, and when I wear them now, it, they just, they really do like look old and ruddy now. So yeah, absolutely love these. If you don't already have a pair of off-white or cream jeans in your wardrobe, but you love jeans, you need to get some. You will not even realize how much you're going to wear them until you have them. The next pair I have are a pair of Levi ribcage jeans. These are relatively new to my um, capsule wardrobe, but I love the deep blue. Now, to be honest, I don't really wear deep blue on a day-to-day -day basis, but I wear them a lot to work. Because I love jeans so much, light blue kind of was a little little bit too casual for work so I was like I need jeans that I can wear that still look um, corporate -y enough and I feel like these deep blue um, jeans are great for that these look great with a black kind of tank top and a blazer um, and some kind of loafers for work and I have another pair of those ribcage jeans these are in the washed black they're a little more washed than I hoped these I purchased off Depop um, and I don't know what to do about that. They're fine, 
but I do like them kind of, I don't like them pure black, but this is just a little too grey for me. So I am thinking of putting like a black wash um, in my washing machine with these and seeing if it kind of brings back just a little bit of colour. So these I wear again so, so much. Look how nice. They look nice with brown. They look nice with white. Um, they go with everything. So absolutely love my jeans. And I am trying to incorporate more trousers or pants um, into my capsule wardrobe. But as of this moment right now, jeans are something that are an absolute staple for me. Moving on to shorts. Now, I could have easily included all of my denim shorts. I have a range of them in all different colours, but I just opted for the black because these are the ones I wear the most. These, these are from Zara. They're just a high-waisted short. They've got the nice hem edge, which I really love because you can kind of dress them up a little. Um, and I just love the black. Black is just my staple. So whatever your colour staple is, just go for that. So I absolutely love these. Had to include them. Again, I have them in blue. I have them in off-white as well. I would have included them in them in this video but I really did try to just stick to 20 of my top kind of items. Now the next um, pair of shorts is a pair of white linen shorts. These are from Dish, another Depop purchase and you can't go wrong with white linen shorts. They look great throughout summer especially because it is so hot here. You can get away with um, dressing these up and heading out to dinner if you have some nice little sandals on, a nice bag and a nice like black blouse or something. So I absolutely love these. Again, you can also just throw them over the bikinis um, to the beach. So these are very, very versatile. And I feel like if you're wondering where to start with shorts, you can't go wrong with a pair of denim shorts and a pair of linen ones. Now moving on to knitwear, like I said, because it doesn't get super cold here, that is why you won't see any trench coats, any coats, because I honestly do not wear them ever unless we're going traveling or something so knitwear is perfect for us because that's about as cold as it gets once we put a knit jumper over top we're good to go it is like the middle of winter right now and i'm look what i'm wearing like it is not cold at all now the first knit jumper i wanted to show you is probably my most worn and the one i would recommend to you most and it is just a plain black and the reason why I love this one so much is because I wear it a lot over dresses. So not only do I wear it with all of my jeans and um, my pants, I also wear it just over top, even like a dress like this. And I would get a belt and just so you don't see it, I would cinch it in underneath like that. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I even put a dress on and a bra over top and then I would tuck the jumper in underneath the bra and then put on a pair of boots and there's a winter outfit. So I absolutely love all, all of my summer dresses. I can put a jumper over top and I've got a winter outfit. So I absolutely love this one. Definitely like my most recommended. The next jumper I have is a striped one. This one here is from Zara. It's a few seasons old, but I just love it so much. And I feel like a striped knit jumper is a must, um, especially because it's got the stripes. I don't have a lot of pattern in my um, wardrobe. So whenever I'm just trying to add a little more interest to an outfit and it's feeling a little bit boring, I'll pop this on and I'm good to go. So I absolutely love this one. I feel like you can go any kind of stripe. You could go navy and stripe. You could go beige and stripe. Um, sorry, navy and white, beige and white, whichever the colour you would prefer, but all striped sweaters I think are really, really nice. Now the next knit jumper is the one that is most recent to my capsule wardrobe, and the reason I already included it is because I have been wearing this non-stop. Uh, I just love it. It looks really, really nice with cream or off-white jeans. I think I've done a few photos of that over on my Instagram. And I was just on the hunt for one of these for like the longest time. This is actually a size 12. I'm usually a size 8, but I wanted it to be quite oversized. It's very comfortable and it's the perfect tone of grey. I didn't want a light grey and I didn't want a charcoaly grey. I wanted like that in between. So I absolutely love this. Again, it goes with all of the other kind of colours in my wardrobe and I didn't realise how versatile grey was. Now moving on to shirts. Shirts are very, very versatile. I have um, these also in black and multiple other colours, but the two that I've picked out are the ones that I wear the most and that is a just a white oversized, I think you would call this like a boyfriend shirt. And it is just from H&M. It is a little bit crunchy, this fabric, but you get the gist of what, like, the style that I'm going for. But this looks really nice, tucked into jeans. You can wear it with trousers as well. You can wear it unbuttoned over bikinis, over a dress, over white linen shorts. Like, honestly, everything. It's a very versatile piece. 
and I think it is great in a capsule wardrobe. The next one is like a chocolate brown linen shirt and the reason why I grabbed this instead of my black silk one is because I actually wear this one so much more than you would think. I really try to go for the three color rule with my outfits and because a lot of my wardrobe as you can see is black and white and gray um, this just adds another kind of pop of color. So I find I can wear this over a black kind of little silk dress. I can wear it with shorts, I can wear it with jeans, I can yeah just pretty much wear it with anything. So if you're wondering how to inject more colour into your wardrobe but you don't want it to be like a colour, I feel like tones of browns are really really great and greys as well. Moving on to dresses. I wear dresses so much but surprisingly I don't have a lot in my wardrobe and that is simply because the ones that I do have are very very versatile and I wear them a lot. So the first one here is this beautiful mini slip dress from Shona Joy. Shona Joy does beautiful slip dresses because the material is quite thick so when you're wearing it it doesn't stick to like you know sometimes slip dresses can like stick to your belly button stick to your bum and stick to your hips this doesn't do that sorry if you can hear talking in the background Ryan's taking a work phone call um, but yeah I really really like the fabric of the Shona Joy and this dress again I can wear throughout summer with a pair of heels um, and it looks really really nice you can even wear it with sneakers and it looks good as well or you can wear it with the knit jumper over top and a pair of boots with a pair of stockings and there you go you've got another dress for winter so I absolutely love this I might even add another one to my wardrobe in another color either white or maybe like like a nice champagne color would be nice and then I also have the dress that I'm wearing today this one here is actually from dish um, and it is that Cupro fabric if you haven't heard of Cupro um, look it up it is just a really nice it's kind of a little bit heavy so it doesn't stick anywhere it drops really nicely and I find it's just a very nice fabric um, for a dress and also for pants and trousers so this one here is a full maxi dress and I can wear it throughout summer because you've got like the square neck with the little um, straps and then again I can wear a jumper over top or a blazer as well with it and I'm good throughout um, winter so I absolutely love this and if I was to add any more dresses to my capsule wardrobe they probably would be similar to this style just maybe different variations of color I know my sister has this this exact dress in black and I absolutely love it but yeah maxi dresses are just great for that they're so good throughout summer so good throughout winter and it's just something like if I had to whittle this whole um, my capsule wardrobe down to like five items I swear to god a long maxi dress would definitely be in there because of how versatile it is. The last piece of clothing I wanted to mention is of course a blazer. Now like I said before I don't have a lot of coats or trench coats or anything because it just doesn't get cold enough but something I do wear very often is a blazer. I can wear it to work, I can wear it out to dinner. This is like my go-to when I have an engagement party or a wedding. I can throw a blazer over any dress and it looks chic. Um, I absolutely love this one. It is the brand called Friend of Audrey. I came across it on Depop and she it retails for like $400 and I ended up getting this for $150 and I could just tell from the pictures that it looked really good quality and just a nice cut. It's kind of a boxy boyfriend cut but then the sleeves are quite fitted, not too fitted but just not too oversized and the seams of the shoulders are like perfect for my shoulders, it's just the perfect fit and that's something I've realized as well. It doesn't matter too much about what you're wearing, it just has to fit right and I don't know, I was watching a video on um, Brittany Bathgate and she spoke about how important it is to have things that kind of fit you as best as you can because that is what really elevates an outfit, makes it look polished and makes it look quite expensive as well. That's if you're going for that kind of look, which I am. And I find that that is why this blazer I reach for most than my others, even though the others are really beautiful colors and a similar kind of oversized look. It's because all of the seams and the length of the arms and everything kind of fit me perfectly. So I absolutely love a blazer and just again, and such a staple in my wardrobe. There you have it guys, they are the top 20 pieces that I would purchase first if I had to start my whole capsule wardrobe again. So I will leave this um, list below that way you guys can either screenshot it or refer to it and just add it to your wish list and just slowly as you go through whenever you feel the urge to 
buy something try and purchase one of these staple pieces and I promise you if you keep doing that rather than just going to the shop and buying whatever you will have a wardrobe full of really beautiful quality items that all go really well together it has been such a game changer doing this whole capsule wardrobe thing I know some people are against it but it it depends on how you perceive a capsule wardrobe and how you utilize it. For me, having these base um, items has just been, I've saved so much money to be honest. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again to Linya for gifting me these beautiful solid gold pieces that I honestly have not taken off since I've received them. I love them so much. If you are looking to add any gold to your jewelry collection, please do not look past Linya. I'll leave all of that information below and if you do, go ahead and decide to purchase anything make sure you use my discount code so that way you get a little bit of a saving so i hope you guys all have a lovely day or night depending on where you are in the world and what time you're watching this and i'll catch you all in my next video bye guys